So the tier 5 super glue recently got some interesting changes and I wanted to try this tower out and see if it's any better. And spoiler alert, I don't think it is, but we're gonna give it a shot before coming to any conclusions. So let's just talk about the buffs and what happened and why this tower is... I think it's about the same. It's going to be ranked about the same, by the way, after we're done with this. So let's talk about these new super glue changes. So first off, what they changed is that the super glue used to do uh, on impact damage. Now that got reduced from 50 to 30, but they gave it an extra 20 DPS, which takes every uh, two seconds or every 1.8 seconds if you have the top cross pad, which you shouldn't be doing. But okay, they, they give us the option, I guess. And so the idea behind this is that now that it has an extra source of damage, the stun effect is going to be getting procced more often, as in... It doesn't need, well, it's not, oh, let me just use the, the level 3 ability, by the way, because purples. And yeah, the idea is that it's going to be proccing the stun more often by itself. And so while that's really nice, my question is, are we not going to have some extra damage sources to proc this thing? I feel like we are. So I, I am not exactly sure if this DPS is going to change anything in regards to the tower. But something actually really interesting happened with the uh, with the melee pad, cross pad with the 025, is that it now gains extra pierce per explosion. So uh, what this means is that whenever it explodes, the stun is going to affect a lot more balloons if you buy the melee pad. And I think that's actually very nice nice so uh, whenever we're going to be seeing these explosions a lot more blues are going to be held in place and i think that that's very important uh, but how important actually is well it, it's above but how important actually is it's still going to remain rated the same which is uh, believe it or not you guys are never going to guess what's the rating that the bt6 index gave to the super glue uh and it is it's s tier well, actually, it's not the super glide. So that's a little bit misleading, but the reason why it's in S tier is because it gets carried by the tier three and the tier four. The way they, they do these tier lists is by uh, let me just upgrade the top pad, by the way. The way they do these tier lists is that they take into account tiers three, four, and five, and so all the heavy lifting is being done by the Moab glue and the relentless glue, right? And I upgraded this more to two hundred three. Something else that I want to try out besides the super glue, and we're gonna go for the metal pad, by the way. But something else I want to try out is this thing: is the uh, the bottom pad mortar, so sharing shells, and eventually into the blue incineration, which you don't see that often uh, but we're gonna combine it with the top hat because now the top hat well it got two changes the so first off the shattering shells is a little bit less expensive i think it was about the 500 dollars price decrease which is really nice but uh, it also does 15 damage to moabs if you combine it with the top pad which i'm gonna be honest that is not a lot and when you think about more popping power you don't think about shattering shells <laughs> so but we're gonna have this thing in a, and i also chose this map because this is a nice map for the combo that we're trying to do right okay so before round 40 i'm banking on making enough money to buy the shattering shells because we are gonna get the, <laughs> the extra 15 dps versus moabs and i think that's gonna be enough to deal with the moab but if this doesn't happen then I guess we're going to have to, what, buy like an alchemist for a door? Is that going to be... Oh, is this even going to be enough? I don't want to use the level 3, but I want to save it for the mob. So I just kind of micro the mortar here up top. And uh, we have these rainbow leftovers, but I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, door is going to pick it up. Okay, so let's try it. We don't have the money. We're missing... Oh, no, we're missing a lot of money. What am I talking about? We're missing like $600. Okay, so let me get a 401 one alchemist and i think that i'm just i think that this is gonna be enough by the way just a four one alchemist we're gonna buff adora she attacks with three divine bolts and we're just oh no we're we're just off of level seven let me just use the level three ability now because the mob looks like it's gonna pop so uh oh did i use it a little bit too early i don't think so we're getting some dps on it and yeah there we go that's fine okay so i got adora and now i know that we have these dark monkeys in the middle but we are gonna sacrifice them so using the level seven ability i'm going to have the super glue right here and I do actually wanna, if it's in range, so it's not currently in range of the Alchemist, but if I get a, can I feel a village like here on the side? Yes, so this village should give enough range to the Alchemist so it buffs the glue, right? So this this is the one that's gonna be the super glue, by the way. So let me just remove this last Dark Monkey, and here we go. So uh, let's go like this, 0 2, two. Uh, we don't need camel detection, so I'm just going to go for a 300 village, and then I'm just going to go for the bottom path. So I'm going to buy the Relentless Glue now. It's round 49, and oh, there's something else that I forgot to mention as well, and that is that the Super Glue got a nice price reduction. It was 28, and now it's 24,000, but it's a little bit more expensive because we're playing on Chimps mode. But yeah, I forgot to mention this thing, which now I'm not sure if it puts it into like the competitive category of towers that do kind of the same thing. Which is, whenever I, I want to, uh, you know, whenever I, I'm talking about the super glue, I usually compare it to the icy Icicle Impel. Because this thing does essentially the same thing, but it does it a lot better than the super glue. So, the next one is going to be the Shattering Shells, because we are missing a level. Well, we're probably not missing, actually, Moab DPS, but we should kind of get it. Yeah, let's just buy the Shattering Shells now. This is going to decamel, to regrow everything. And this is the setup, guys. We don't have an explicit, um, you know, DPS tower that you would normally have to deal with everything. That's at least until we get to the Bloom Incineration. But, uh, yeah, I just want to see how the super 
Super Glue does, honestly. I'm, I'm really, I'm really curious about how this thing and the extra explosion of Pierce is going to work, and is it going to be able to hold huge chunks of balloons? That's my question. So we're gonna have it probably after 63, but I'm curious how we're gonna do versus, you know, rounds like maybe 62 and 63, and if this DPS is going to be enough. One of the good things that we're gonna get on this round, thanks to the Sharon shells, is that, and actually throughout the entire game is that we are not going to be dealing with this 45 moabs. So we're going to de-45 everything that comes out and when you get to the tier 5 uh, I think this even affects DDT so they're not going to be any 45 DDTs on 99. So this is 63 and let's see how this is going to work. I, I may see, I'm only, only curious about the stun and basically if we we're able to hold these balloons in place and uh, how is it looking so far? I mean we are dealing with them I'm going to be honest. I, so far nothing to complain although the map is made for uh you know for more this and from you know for tower like this but yeah it's definitely holding them in place let's see how the last wave is gonna do so he starts gluing them here at the start and then i'm gonna need to glue them right here and then oh yes if the explosion is nice and if it holds the correct balloons oh yeah that's a lot of dps so looking at these balance changes i do have some questions and that is why would you ever want to buy the top pack on this thing? So the way that it works is that it needs to hit as many balloons as possible and then you need the explosions to trigger. But the whole idea of the super glue, by the way, let me just buy it because we have the money. And uh, the whole idea of the super glue being able to trigger uh, the stun effect by itself, I think is nice. But if they want to make the bottom pant, uh, sorry, the top pad viable, I think that they need to reduce the tick rate by a lot. So that it triggers by itself. But then it, it kind of turns into a top pad glue, right? But yeah, that tick rate needs to go down to like... I don't know, maybe like half a second, honestly, maybe even more than that. So it, it's actually a useful cross pad because I don't think it's good like this. Okay, so I've been watching the Super Glue attack for a while and I have gathered that this thing actually does keep a lot of these balloons in place. Uh, but I, I, I don't think we've so far faced any of these more serious rounds with a lot of RB. So I'm not sure if, you know, before free play, this is going to be a good gauge on how good this tower is. So maybe on rounds like these, actually. So I'm not exactly sure if this is that particularly good. I mean, this would be a nice a nice round to kind of gauge how good this tower is. But it is, for some reason, oh, I had it set on last. But it kept them all in place. Okay, I had mistakenly set on last. But we kept them all into the crater, which is really nice. And I think this is just the new buff, right? So being able to stun a lot more balloons. And then the DPS from... Now, the more is actually really nice because of this DPS that triggers the effect by itself. So maybe you want to combine it with DPS tower so that you can get through these layers a little bit faster. And you can activate the, the stun effect. I think that's really nice. Okay, so as soon as this round ends, this is the ZMG which just pops into BFBs. And as soon as this round ends, that is where the actual challenge starts for the Super Glue and its peers. So we have 34,000. So that means that... I think at, at about round 82, we should be able to afford the balloon generation, but this is where the actual challenge starts for this tower because we're going to be seeing a lot more balloons and they're a lot more difficult to pop. So just like that, you guys see this, how they're making it into the middle. So we're going to need this thing to kind of shift its attack inside of the crater and then we're going to see how good this stun effect is. Although the map is kind of nice because, you know, all of them are going to be concentrated in the middle, but let's just, you know, let's just kind of see because this is, like, you don't want to be buying the super glue on any map anyway, so I think that should be fine. Yeah, okay, so this is really important. Can we keep all of these balloons in place? And I feel like the answer is yes, we are keeping them so far and as long as you, we don't even have that much DPS to deal with these super ceramics. So I feel like this super glue is kind of nice in keeping everything in place at least it's a little bit better than it used to be for sure the pierce got a huge change by the way it got increased to like 15 i think when if you go for the millicross path i mean that's that's a lot of balloons being stunned and also the stun just keeps going right as long as you keep popping balloons okay so we are almost there with the balloons generation i'm gonna need this tower to happen as fast as possible we are holding these balloons in place but we're just very slow to damage them so when we get this thing also the balloons generation creates these walls of fire so they're gonna be really nice and just triggering the stun effect from the uh, from the uh, super glue i think so, uh, yeah, let's, let's just, what are we doing next? I think I'm just going to get like an NG, like an overclock for, for the balloon generation. And that should be honestly more than enough because we do have the stun. So typically when you buy these stunning and these kind of support towers, you buy some boomerangs or you only stop at the relentless glue. But when you get the super glue, do you actually need to buy anything else? I don't think so. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's see how this thing goes. I wanted to watch 87 for a second. So... This thing is going to hold the ZMGs in place. It doesn't completely mobilize them uh, like the Bloom Crush, but it slows them down like 90% or something like that. And we do have the money for the overclock, so let me buy it now. Yeah, these guys are not moving. I mean, there are a small amount of leaks. And see, this is the problem that the Super Glue has in comparison to the other towers because these leaks are enough to just make you lose the game. So you don't want this thing happening. But at the same time, if you want consistency, you can get the Bloom Crush. But the thing is, this thing is like 60,000. And the Super Glue is like half the 
price of it. I don't think these new changes are going to move the super glue really, you know, up or down. I think it's still going to remain into this underused category, but something else that it was always good at was let me just get the primary mentoring so i give it a little bit of range but something that was already good at it was just dealing with ddt's because it doesn't need an mib village and it can stun them actually it just keeps them in place it used to do dps and it also now does dps as well so it's actually kind of i would say nice versus ddt's in a way <laughs> but yeah this is round 91 so let's overclock the balloon generation and let's let's just move it oh wait a minute wait a minute we seem to be leaking let me use the doors level three but we're fine I think we picked it up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now I do have a question. And that is, I know that the ice, if I place the ice tower like this, I know that it's not going to be able to attack in the middle, but does the aura affect the middle portion? Because I do want to kind of keep these ceramics and all the small balloons that we saw leaking. I want to keep them in place. And so if we're, if I can slow them down with the aura, I think that would be really nice. So I'm going to get the absolute zero first. And then I think, let me just, by the way, overclock this thing. Let me let me just move them over at the front. I mean, D45 these guys and oh my god, everything is evaporating. I mean, this is a nice combo, isn't it? So 95 these deities are about to appear. I don't think that we're gonna need to basically do anything. I can buy the 240 snowstorm, but I don't think we're gonna need it because I feel like the super glue is gonna be enough to hold everyone in place. But you know what? I'm actually gonna overclock the super glue this time and have it attack a little bit faster so we don't miss any of the small balloons. And yeah, this is more than enough. I mean, everything is getting stunned, but is this any different from the old one? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe the stun with the pierce difference has to has kind of improved the tower but i'm not exactly sure guys and i don't think that any of these new changes are going to move the super glue any further up the scale and i don't think anyone's going to be using it more just because there are ways to do its job a, a lot more effectively for a, a lot cheaper but uh, it's a i guess it's a nice change yeah that's that's kind of my takeaway it's a nice change and also i wanted to try the balloon generation this is a tower that i haven't used in a while so i'm kind of glad to use it this is probably a perfect map for it uh, so let me get the absolute zero and so this is my question is does this aura affect and well it's not gonna be able to to freeze them but does it slow down the ceramics and all the small leftovers because that's what we're dealing with that that's the issue right because the super glue can't hold all of them and this is round 98 but let me start getting ready for uh the battle around 100 just in case i'm not sure if, if the blue generation is gonna be uh, enough dps for the bat i'm gonna micro it of course and we're gonna try but let me just be ready with one spike storm and I am going to overclock the balloon generation. We have the absolute zero ability, but I'm going to save it for 99 for the DTs. Now, let's see if this is going to be enough. So, yeah, this is exactly the problem the super glue has. Like, look at these small balloons. We are attacking. It's constantly attacking. Everyone is doing damage. It just cannot hold enough. And I guess this is the problem that NGQ has. I mean, you can make the Pierce uh, go to, like... Oh, that was the entire round, by the way. <laughs> it disappeared thanks to the balloon sin. But yeah, you can make it have like a lot of peers, but at the same time, like maybe you're going to be over, over buffing the tower. But yeah, this balloon generation also removes the fortified state from DDTs, which is really nice. And it's only the bat. So uh, what can we do? Let's get the spike storm and let's... Uh, do we want to buy one more? Maybe like go like this. We don't have the money for a second one, so I'm just going to buy a 230 and I think that's going to be fine. And maybe we're going to get two abilities off of this. We have the absolute zero for the leftovers, which I'm absolutely going to use. And let's just keep moving this thing. So uh go like this. I mean we don't we don't need it, but you know what? As soon as you know what, as soon as these guys pop to be a beast, I'm gonna use the absolute zero because we haven't used it once. So let's use it. And that is that's gonna be it. Let me check the pumps by the way on this thing. It is at 234,000. So the new DPS has, has it done anything to change the DPS and the total amount of damage? I don't think so. Maybe a little bit. But yeah, the super glue is probably going to be rated the same, and I don't think that the new buffs are actually gonna change anything with it but it's nice to have them that's my conclusion for this thing but hope you guys enjoyed the video that's gonna be it for this one thank you guys so much for watching it and i will see you on the next one